Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on offset roller follower. For that, here is the question. Whatever is given in this question, I will write that in the form of data. It is given the following data relate to a cam profile in which the follower moves with SHM during the lift and returning with UARD that is uniform acceleration and retardation. So at first, lift is with SHM return with UARD then minimum radius of cam is 30 mm roller radius is 10 mm Follower lift 60 mm that is the height which is covered by the follower or the maximum displacement of it. Then offset of follower axis 12 mm towards right. So the offset distance is given. Next angle of ascent that is the outstroke or lift which was given with SHM it is 60 degree. So here theta O outstroke is 60 degree angle of descent that is angle of fall or return which is with UARD 120 degree then angle of dwell between ascent and descent is 45 degree which is theta d1 is equal to theta d2 that is dwell between outstrokes and return strokes 45 degree each and the question is we have to draw the cam profile so once the data has been written let us start with the solution part now in the solution first step would be to draw the displacement diagram The height or lift which is given in the problem is 60 mm. So I will be taking 60 mm distance as the height. After taking the lift as 60 mm, outstroke is 60 degree. So that 60 degree I will be converting it into a linear distance of 6 cm in which 1 cm will indicate 10 degree and then dividing it into 6 equal parts. This is the outstroke 60 degree. I have divided it into 6 equal parts so giving the notations here 0 first second up to 0.6 so 6 equal divisions then there is dwell of 45 degree see dwell need not be divided because it is that distance where we can say when the cam rotates during the dwell period follower will remain at its position so there is no need of dividing and we can see that when the outstroke gets completed follower would cover the maximum distance which is 6 cm at the top and during the 45 degree of rotation of cam further the follower will remain at the same position so no need of dividing it just take an approximate distance to mark the dwell forty-five degree. Then there is return stroke of 120 degree. For that I am taking it as 12 centimeters. One twenty degree will also be divided into six equal parts. So I would be taking two centimeter is equal to twenty degrees here. 
taking 2 cm divisions and for simplicity I am keeping the same notations in the reverse order so this is 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0 after this 120 degree return stroke there is again a dwell of 45 degree so that also need not be shown completely I am showing it just with the help of a broken section which indicates the remaining dwell period then after reaching up till this stage it is given in the problem that the lift is with SHM so here for SHM this procedure needs to be followed taking the half of this lift that is the midpoint drawing a light line through the midpoint from this midpoint taking this much as the radius I am drawing a light semicircle and then I need to divide this semicircle into six equal parts for that each angle I would be measuring as 30 degree keeping this same division into the compass I will go on marking the distances now giving the notations here to, to this semicircle 0 this is 1 2 3 5 and 6 since it is following as in SHM we have to solve the problem in this manner now this one would be projected from the outstroke in upward direction and one horizontally from the semicircle so the intersection point would give me the first point projecting with the help of light line so here at the intersection I am getting point number one then point second So these are the points which I am getting. Joining them light with the help of a smooth curve will indicate the SHM motion. So this indicates the SHM simple harmonic motion. Then I will make it dark. After that there is dwell so the follower will remain at its top position for remaining 45 degree. Then there is uniform acceleration and retardation during the return stroke. So for that take the midpoint of the return stroke which is point number 3. From that draw a light vertical line. Divide this vertical line into 6 equal divisions. Since it is 6 cm taking 1 1 cm. After that join the diagonal from the midpoint. for the return stroke whatever points we are getting above this diagonal would be connected over here now give the notations to this vertical line since this is 6 at the top this would be 5 4 then 3 2, 1 and finally 0. So projecting this 0.5 upward over this line which I have drawn 
I am getting a point here. Next for four, three is there at this midpoint, then point number second, point one, and zero. Finally, joining all these points with the help of a smooth curve will give the UARD motion, making it dark. So this indicates the uniform acceleration and retardation and then it will be dual for the remaining cycle. Now after getting these motions, I will just explain here the displacement diagram has been completed. Since it is roller follower, so these locations are indicating the centers of the roller follower. So at first it is at this location. This need not be shown into the actual displacement diagram. I am just showing so that we can understand the concept how the roller moves. The center goes on shifting. It rises as we can see during the outstroke reaches the maximum position for 60 degree of cam rotation then remains at the same height for next 45 degree and then it starts to fall during the return stroke finally up to its initial position that is at point O and then it will remain at this position for the remaining cycle so the step number one has been completed that is the displacement diagram now quickly I will draw the cam profile which is the second step in this problem drawing light horizontal line then I will draw a light vertical line from this point Now the minimum radius of the base circle is given as 30 mm. So from this center, I'll take a radius of 30 and through it, I'll draw the base circle. First light, at the end we have to make it dark. Then this problem is of offset and the offset distance is 12 mm to the right. So from this center, I will take 12 mm distance onto the right side projecting this point upward then the ruler radius is given as 10 mm so I will take 10 mm distance into the compass and where this line offset line is cutting the base circle here I am getting the center of the roller by taking 10 mm and now from this center I will draw the circle which will indicate the roller diameter. At the same time by taking this offset distance I will draw another circle which would be the offset circle. This is the roller, here is the base circle and then this is the offset circle by taking the offset distance and now this center of the roller will indicate point O and I would be joining this point O at the center of the base circle or the center of the cam. Now this line would become the reference for measuring the angles at first the outstroke which is at 60 degree so I am taking 60 degree angle now remember that since it is an offset follower I have taken this line is the reference otherwise if it would have been a, an inline follower that is the axis of the follower and the cam would have been same that is this vertical line so the reference would have been from here but now since it is offset so it is here then this angle needs to be divided into six equal parts taking 10 degree division each
now these divisions need to be connected only up to the offset circle because from there i would be drawing the tangents So this is 0, then there is point 1, then there is point second, next third, fourth, fifth and at last sixth. So the next step would be to draw the tangents through all these points. So starting with 0, tangent to the offset circle. zero then tangent from point one and in order i'll quickly go on drawing the tangents then point three Point four, point five, and at last point six. So these are the six tangents for the outstroke. So now once I have got all these tangents, the next step is from the center of the base circle to the center of the roller, I'll draw another circle and this is called as the prime circle and in case of roller followers, the distances are to be marked with the help of or from the prime circle. So I am taking the displacement diagram. Starting with point number 1, I'll measure this vertical height up to point 1 and the first tangent which is for 1 from the prime circle I'm marking the distance onto this first tangent and 0 will remain as it is up to here. This is 0 then 1. Next for point second measuring the distance on the second tangent and remember we have to keep the point on the prime circle when it is roller follower if it is knife edge follower then the base circle becomes a reference but in case of roller follower the prime circle is the reference so that point we have to remember then after second point third from the prime circle onto the third tangent Point 0.5 point 0.6 So in case of roller follower the reference is the prime circle and whatever I have marked here these are the center center position of the roller when it shifts during the outstroke that is the rotation of the cam so here when after getting all these centers taking the roller radius and starting from each of the points, I'll draw light circles, not complete circles from each of the centers. Don't draw complete circle here because we require only the base of the circle. So base tangents are to be drawn. So we have reached up till here that is for the outstroke. Now for the remaining dwell, dwell was 45 degree given. Like I had measured the angle of outstroke from this point O, it had ended over here for the outstroke. Where the outstroke ends, the dwell starts.
एट फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सो फॉर द डेल ऑल्सो आई हैव टू कीप इट ओनली अप टू द ऑफसेट सर्कल एंड नाउ फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट आई वुड बी ड्रॉइंग द टेंजेंट लाइक आई हैव ड्रॉन फॉर द आउट स्ट्रोक सो दिस इज पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स फॉर द डेल From this point, I am taking the tangent. Now, since for the dwell the distance is same, we can see here at point six. So, keeping the same distance, and on this tangent of point number six from the base circle, oh uh, sorry, from the prime circle, because here the reference is prime circle, I am cutting this arc. and taking the same roller radius i'll draw a circle not completely then where this dwell is ending after that there is the return stroke this line is the reference so here this is dwell 1 then there is return stroke of 120 degrees now this 120 degree needs to be divided into six equal parts taking each angle as 20 degree and only up to the offset circle i'll be marking these distances or these divisions only up to the offset circle because that is where from where i have to draw the tangents giving the notations here after 6 this would be the fifth point then 4 3 2 1 and 0 now from these points i would be drawing the tangents starting with point 5 because 6 has already been completed tangent for point number 5 then After drawing all these tangents, I'll again measure the distance from the displacement diagram. So after six point number five up to the roller center, and then marking from the prime circle onto the fifth tangent. Point four onto the prime circle. Similarly, in order three, two, and one. so these are the center locations for the roller taking the roller radius and again drawing circles but not completely from the respective centers for the return stroke now i would be connecting all these centers and the curve which i would be getting that is called as the pitch curve so joining all the centers in order
Now parallel to this pitch curve would be the actual cam profile and that is obtained by joining all the base tangents of the circles which I have got here. Moving parallel to the pitch curve. For zero also, I am drawing a circle. So this is the cam profile which I will make it dark. Then for the remaining dwell, this is the axis of the roller follower and here is the axis of the cam, they are offset as given in the problem, there is this distance. This is the pin through which the roller is connected. I am showing broken section here. And the roller follower moves in the guideways to avoid lateral movement of the roller. These are the guideways inside which the roller would be reciprocating. and the offset distance was given as 12 mm. So in this way we need to draw the cam profile when it is an offset roller follower. So that completes the problem. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.